Hello everyone and welcome to another installment of the Coin Dictionary. I'm Wu Hu and today I've got for you a 10 centavos coin from 2013 from Mexico. We'll go over the history, the value, the basics, and any other pertinent information about this coin. So let's get started. On the obverse, which is actually the other side right here, this is the typical Mexican coat of arms, the eagle devouring a snake sitting atop a cactus uh, above a half wreath of oak and laurel, and the country name Estados Unidos Mexicanos across the top. Turn this over to the other side. We see the denomination 10 centavos, the year of mintage 2013, and a mint mark for the Casa de Moneda de Mexico, which has been minting Mexican coins since 1535. This is also a stylized partial border of solar rays on the ring of sacrifice, the Anillo del Sacrificio, on the Aztec calendar stone, also known as the Piedra del Sol. These coins have been produced since 2009. Uh, they're made, incidentally, from the punched out cores of the stainless steel rings of the one peso coins. I guess they figured out in 2009 that they could reuse the coins to make these lower denomination coins instead of remelting them and reusing them and basically making the process a whole lot longer. Uh, let's see here. It's, this is a very tiny coin. It's stainless steel in composition, 1.755 grams in weight, 14 millimeters in diameter, 1.65 millimeters thick with a smooth edge that's got a groove in the middle of it. You can kind of tell there uh, from the flip. Uh, and believe it or not, this is actually a smaller version of a previous 10 centavos coin. Uh, that one was produced from 1992 to 2009 uh, until they realized they could reuse the uh, one peso stainless steel cores, like I said earlier, and thus you make this smaller coin. Uh, it is very, very low value. It's equivalent to about half of a US cent. So you're not going to get very much value out of this, even in the most uncirculated of grades. You're lucky if you can get a quarter out of this. Uh, and even then, uh, it would have to be in less circulated condition than this example. Although this example is pretty good. Anyway, hope that cleared up some information about this coin. And I'll see you next time when I've got another coin to talk about. I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching the video. My name's Christian and I own The Coin Dictionary and I'd also encourage you to visit us at our website, thecoindictionary.com and on Instagram at thecoindictionary. And I'd also like to draw your attention to some other helpful coin resources, such as my other YouTube channel, Treasure Town, which does more in-depth videos about coins and collectibles, as well as some resources like coinmeltprice.com, which shows up-to-date Precious Metals Pricing, as well as the melt values of the coins that you own. CoinsMetalsCards.com, which will both be a marketplace and a news source for coins, metals, and cards, as the name suggests. As well as What'sTheGrade.com, which will develop into a stickering service for already graded collectibles. Have a great day, and I hope to see you on some of our other videos.